G'day guys, welcome back to another video on the channel. And if you haven't seen my last video, I went through some of the players that have had breakout or really, really strong uh, pre-seasons at Collingwood. And I also gave my uh, third place ranking for this little ranking, I guess, with uh, Ash Johnson falling in number three. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. Now it's up on the channel and has been for a few days. And uh, yeah, now I'll be uh, moving on to my second, uh, I guess, best player that, uh, that I've seen from the preseason. And honestly, at any other club, he deserves to be number one. He's only played three games in the last two years, and he's played like nine or something for his career. He's such an underrated player. He's a brother of um, a gun from the Western Bulldogs. I think you guys all know who I'm talking about. It's Finlay McRae. He has had an unbelievable preseason, and I'm not even joking. He was equal best on for the uh, Ballarat, I believe, uh, side in the match sim the other day with Jordan Ngoi. That is an unbelievable uh, stat, really, because he, he's barely played um, at AFL level, but he looks so calm and composed already um, in front of other great Collingwood players. And, you know, he... That, that first quarter in particular, like, he was absolutely elite. He was involved in almost every single highlight reel, um, which is obviously up on the Collingwood Football Club um, channel and was where I watched it. But, uh, yeah, he, he was almost involved, I want to say, in every single passage of play. He kicked a couple goals, I believe, and, uh, yeah, he looks like a real player that's going to break out um, in uh, 2024 and... Uh, was predicted to, you know, uh, break out in 2022 and 2023 by some Collingwood fans, but never did. He he played one game as the sub last year, I believe, in round 24 against Essendon. And to be honest with you, he didn't do so well. Uh, but, gee, he's had a huge preseason. He looks ready to explode. And at the moment, I think 100%, I'm not, maybe not 100%, but I think he should start against GWS round zero. He shouldn't be the sub. He should probably start. He has been so good, so dangerous. Uh, the only problem is I don't really see who's going to be left out of the team. So someone who probably should be in the team or who I predict predicted to be in the team in my Best 22 Collingwood video that I made a couple weeks ago uh, will have to be left out, obviously. And I don't know who that's going to be because... Yeah, I don't know. It's just so, so, so hard to get this best 22 right. And I really feel for Craig McRae, who has to pick the team week in, week out, because this guy has put his hand up to replace Taylor Adams. And I personally think he's the perfect player to do so. He's a good, hard, you know, midfield gun, and he's a bit of a ball. He can kick goals, which is what Taylor Adams probably did best in his previous few years uh, to end off the club and uh, yeah, he's definitely one that I think should be starting in the team um, and is a real real exciting player for the future hopefully you guys enjoyed my little analysis on Finlay McRae and I'll see you guys next week where I'll be revealing my um, number one player um, for Collingwood this preseason